Hi, and welcome to another edition of Science, It's Your Friend. Some of you might not know this, but I study monkeys, yep. I'm a primatologist, and this week we have an interesting question about monkeys. Let's hear it. Dear Natalia, I just saw the cutest pic of a monkey perusing the aisles in Ikea. It was wearing a darling shearling coat and a sweet-looking diaper. Oh my goodness, I totally want a pet monkey now. But I gotta ask, do monkeys make good pets? Okay, I want you to look at me. No, no, I want you to look in my eye, deep in my eye. Hell no. Monkeys are possibly the worst pet you can own. Imagine you have a two-year-old. It's beautiful, you love it. Everything it does makes you giggle and giddy with laughter. You just can't get enough of your baby. But then it gets grumpy and turns into a hellacious spawn of Satan, seething with animosity and with a thirst for adult blood that is unparalleled. It runs amok, destroying everything you ever cared about, including your Fabergé egg collection and that Boba Fett action figure you, you got when you were in third grade back in 1983. It has enough brain power and dexterity to, to choose to make your life, your once prospering life, a living hell. And that creature is stuck in that level for eternity. That, my friends, that is what having a pet monkey is like. Well, not really, but close enough. They never get older. They, they don't grow up. You see, a human toddler, they'll, they'll grow out of that stage and terrorize their parents in different yet more creative ways. This monkey will always be in this state of mind until it expires indefinitely. Well then, why are monkeys like this? Well, monkeys and apes are, are primates, like humans. They're very social and intelligent, just like us. So to take a chimpanzee or a monkey away from its mother and other members of its species and expect it to behave like a human in a human environment, either in the entertainment industry or as a pet, is, is cruel, it's nonsensical, and it often leads to a, a broken and defeated primate. And how awful is that? Think about it. If you were taken from your mom and thrown in with a pack of wolves and expected to act like a normal wolf, you'd have problems. Maybe you wouldn't. Yeah, maybe you'd fit in just fine. I don't, I don't know. And the media isn't helping. I mean, with shows like My Baby Monkey or The, the Capuchin and Hangover 2 or all the orangutans you see in commercials that are oh so adorable, everybody ends up wanting a pet monkey. But those primates in the entertainment industry are forced to retire when they become adults because they're too hostile and erratic to control. And so they're sent to sanctuaries where they're left to live their life out, not sure if they're a monkey or ape or a human. They're kind of left in this sort of strange limbo. And now with Andy Serkis and CGI, well, mostly Andy Serkis, uh, we don't need movie chimps or gorillas or, or monkeys. We've got Andy Serkis. He can do anything. He can be anything. And don't get me wrong, I, I love monkeys and apes. That's why I became a primatologist. But I have experienced their wrath firsthand. While doing field work in Panama, I was pelted with sabo fruit and, and, and tree branches. Sure, monkeys are cute, but so are lion cubs or grizzly bear babes. Heck, I bet you could find an alligator baby that's just precious. But that's not to say you'd want to put a diaper on an adult man-eater, would you? No, I didn't think you would. So, remember, monkeys make great hats, wonderful toys, festive votive candles, but horrible, I mean horrible, pets. So please, just say no to pet monkeys. As long as you love me, don't get a pet monkey!